in the Yukon Valley where I got a ticket the challenge of being the best gold miner ever with zero dollars in a truck and this abandoned gold mine one of my buddies told me from back home that's in the Yukon Valley are we gonna go ahead and make it up and to be the best gold miner or we're we gonna completely fail I don't know that's why my buddy wanted me to come try gold mining stay tuned to find out if you want more content like this be sure to subscribe and like the video and let me know down in the comment section below without any further ado let's go ahead and get right into the challenge oh I'm so tired of driving it's been about 150 hours Hours of me driving all the way from home to the valley oh welcome back ladies and gentlemen today we're in a gold mining series a little bit of a new series and then a different challenge that I'm gonna be taking up for myself to see if I can actually be successful at now one of my buddies reached out to me that lived in the Yukon Valley he recently just moved out he told me about this abandoned gold mine that's been sitting here for at least 10 15 years it's gonna be my challenge to get it up and running off the ground I don't know for for sure if there's any old equipment um, left on the property all I know is uh, my buddy told me about the property and it's just sitting there with nothing you know without it being ran with how many years this is the property that my buddy told me about on Yukon Valley and let me tell you this is actually a very beautiful spot for having a little bit of a gold mine it's a small gold mine I'm not gonna mind it I'm gonna try to get it as best as I can off the ground we have a waterfall up there I don't know if there's anything on top of the mountain there but with the uh, that town that watched are being there i'm pretty sure there is but there's only one way to find out now i got this whole land surveyed right here just the uh creek right here the the land that's been abandoned for how long now now there is going to be gold uh that's what the surveyors told me so i guess that's a good thing as well i gotta go in my truck and grab the cabin key i don't know if there's anything that is left around the property or not but that's the only one way to find out is to actually walk around so let me go ahead and grab this key you can really tell this place was actually abandoned and i'm actually shocked nobody took it over but without further ado let's go ahead and jump in the cabin now i don't know if there's anything in the cabin or not he didn't say anything about the property or nothing he just showed me like one screenshot and i was blown away and i just went ahead and took the challenge up i guess let's go ahead and get inside of here there we go you can tell this cabin's been sitting for a couple years i don't know exactly how many years he told me at least it's been at least like 10 15 years now the only thing that i'm really seeing is this safe i don't know if there's anything in the safe or not so uh yeah we're just gonna go ahead and check it out he should be is it locked yeah it's it's locked okay so i'm gonna go ahead and find a key 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 oh there's a key where would i be come on where's a key where's a key oh there it is is that okay it says safe key now what is inside of here holy crap there's two gold bars in this container yeah you, you can definitely tell this is a gold safe container it's old as crap it's the paint on it's peeling and it's becoming rust now i don't know oh, man should we just take the gold and try to sell it 60 kg of two pieces of gold that's actually pretty good uh so yeah we're gonna leave that there for now and probably put it in the bed of my truck and then go ahead and sell it i'm not 100% sure yet. I don't know exactly what I own, so I'm just going to go ahead and take a guess on what I own. I'm not I'm going to only going to be mining that area for now. Go ahead and take a walk around. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Oh, what is this? Oh, ho, ho, ho. this is an old case. This ain't old. This is a new case. So, yeah, somebody had been here recently. This thing rusted, dirty. Definitely got their money worth out of this dozer. Man, 11.50 M. I don't know if it would run. Can go ahead and give it a try, I guess. Nope. She's completely dead. Gotta pull the truck around and get it hooked up to my jumpers. So I see two things sitting here. A Paladine high dump bucket for a skid steer. And Palak... Okay, never mind. There's three things sit. Oh, dude. Oh. Okay, so at least there's two pieces of equipment. At least it's got the pallet forks on it. And at least this has got we got oh dude this don't really look like it's in bad shape either or at least better shape than that i guess yeah i don't really see anything besides all the weeds growing inside of it wonder if we can get this started here let's go ahead and try to give her a go come on nope all she's doing is just turning over all right so 
I'm gonna I'll just go ahead and grab the gold bars from inside the safe there go ahead and put it inside the truck so once we get back onto the road and figure out where I gotta sell all the gold I'll get back to you guys here in a minute alright guys so I just got all the gold bars loaded up in the back of the truck yes I there's three gold bars I know I said those two from the safe but I found another one sitting inside the closet of the bedroom there let's go ahead and hop in the truck here pull out my map and figure out where we gotta sell this whenever we get to the bank I will catch you guys in a couple of minutes alrighty so that was like uh, about like a 15 minute drive I didn't want to go too fast because I didn't want to lose all of my gold there. But if you guys are going to enjoy this series, let me know down in the comment section below because I think this is going to be a pretty fun and cool series in my opinion. I always wanted to do gold mining. We are just got into town and here is where we have to go to the banks. Let's pray that these three pieces of gold are at least worth something. So, Alright, and I thank you guys again for all the money that you guys gave me for my gold. Thank you. Oh boy. Clearly we started from zero dollars and now we have two hundred and eighty three thousand dollars. So that's gonna give us a nice start to at least go buy a trailer. Yeah, I think that's what we should do is actually go and buy a trailer. And we should come into town for once. I'll catch you guys over at the dealership because I just need to get a trailer. Alrighty, at the dealership, let's go ahead and pick a selection of their best trailer. I already know what I got my eye on, I already seen the catalog. So I think this is a trailer I'm gonna go with. It's a nine ton uh, Talbert trailer with the uh, reflectors right there. I think this is gonna be a pretty good trailer. It'll be good to haul what I'm gonna be buying here next. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this and finalize it. Changed my mind about the trailer. I got a another trailer. I completely forget what it's called, but it's a low loader trailer. It's one of them cool trailers right there. That's, that's what it is. I, I seen it in the catalog. They said they have it in stock. They said they didn't have the tall Burton stock. I just went ahead and backed into the trailer there and went ahead and just bought this one instead. And oh yeah, I bought the excavator there too. Alrighty, well, it took me a lot longer to figure out actually how to unhook that from the low loader. And that looks good. Go ahead and make sure she's strapped down here. Oh, oh. Alright, yep, she ain't going nowhere. Alrighty, so I will catch you guys back over at the mine site there. Just getting back over here at the mine. Uh, I know it's like a little bit of a long drive, but yeah, I had to get, I had to buy a lawnmower too, and preferably a skid steer lawnmower, so I'm not tearing up the blade in that. I gotta make another like parking ground area type deal. Yeah, I'll just park the low loader like maybe here. Or maybe I can get, get that dozer started and then we can clear the area as well. Unload the John Deere, get the other piece connected, and then park this trailer somewhere. I don't know if we're going to get some mining today because I am pretty tired. Like I said, I drove about 100 plus hours to even to even get here. I guess I'm just going to go ahead and park here. So let me go ahead and put this trailer somewhere and then I'll be back with you guys once we... Once I try and get this dozer started, it's been about like an hour or two. I have been having, I had the jumpers hooked up to the bolt, the dozer here. Let's go ahead and try to give her a go. Come on, come on, girl, come on. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful sight. Let me go ahead and uh, move my truck. Dude, I can't believe this thing ran. Let me, let me see if the uh, hydraulics still work here. Yep, like a dream, like a charm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And she goes on her own power. Oh, yeah. Can't believe she started right up. That's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and just let that run for a little bit. Probably get some water from the crick, clean it off, and then uh, probably just go from there. But I think that's what we're going to leave off on today's gold mining episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio.